Hi everybody, it's Nan from the Brazil Public Library. Um, my last craft, the tie-dye t-shirt, went over really, really well, so I'm gonna show you another craft that we can do with t-shirts today. This will be an outdoor craft uh, that will require adult supervision because we are using bleach water. I am inside today because the wind is blowing so strong, these t-shirts wouldn't stay on the table. So make sure you do it outside with an adult around. So we're gonna start with, what do we need? We need a dark t-shirt. I've got two here because I'm going to show you two different designs that you can do. You need a set of gloves because we're working with bleach water. I'm also recommending that you wear a mask. Uh, it will require some rubber bands, large ones for this design, smaller rubber bands for that design. So let's get started. Unlike the tie-dye, this shirt starts out dry and we are going to do our little twirl just like we did with the tie-dye so that all of this ends up swirling around into a bit of a mess and we're going to make our same little pizza pie so we're going to put a rubber band around the outside of this and this is going to be messy it doesn't stick together nice and neat like it does when the shirt is already wet. We're going to get our second rubber band and we're going to put it through just like we did before and hold that down. See how I've got one around the outside and one across the middle. We're now going to take our second one and we're going to do it halfway through so we have like our pizza pie, okay? Now, we're going to put our gloves on And we're going to put our mask on so that we're not breathing in all of our fumes. So, all right, it's ready to rock. Now, my bleach water is in a spray bottle that can be adjusted to stream or spray. This is a stream. <clears throat> what I want is a spray. And we're just going to get it really good and wet on the top here. Then we're going to turn it over and spray this side. Not too much, just enough. Now we're going to set that to the side and let it set for about eight to 10 minutes for the bleach to do its job. Now we're going to start with our second t-shirt, also dry. This time though, instead of the big swirl, we're going to go for more of a galaxy design. So we're going to do little pinches into puffs and we're going to take the smaller rubber bands and put them around. So we got all these like little nubs sticking up and you can twirl some if you want to get more of a design. You don't have to, you can just gather. Do not use too big of a rubber band because it will cover too much of the shirt. So, and you don't want it all in the same. See how I've got one there and one there? It just adds a little different design to it. So, add one here. And like the tie-dye t-shirt, we wanna make sure that it, we get all the way through. And you know what? Sometimes it's just easier to do this without gloves. So, take our little poof here. Let's see the white that's powder from my gloves. And I will be putting those back on. So, I'll get my fourth one on. And you can do a whole bunch of these. You could do just three. You could do one and leave it at that. But make sure that, see how it's collected from the back? We wanna make sure we've got that. Now, I'm gonna put gloves back on because I'm messing with the bleach. And we're going to spray this. Now, on this one, it's a little bit different in that we're going to, sometimes gloves are so much fun to put on. 
Anyway, we're going to spray directly onto these so that they are saturated and we get a good color change right there. Then I'm gonna change it and I'm gonna come back here and I'm just going to spray a little bit. See how it's not covered? It's gonna give me just those little spots and my big swirls will be here. This one, however, we wanna turn the shirt over and do the same on the back side with just some light little sprinkles. And that should be enough for a design. You think we need a little more? We'll add a little more. Okay, now this sets for eight to 10 minutes. And we'll check this, see we're starting to get a little bit of color change. That's why it's gotta set the eight to 10 minutes. So we're gonna pause now and we'll be back. Okay, our eight to 10 minutes is up. As you can see, I'm in the bathroom because we need to rinse. And I wanna show you how to rinse. So I've got our first t-shirt here and a little pair of scissors, and I'm just going to cut the rubber bands from it. All right, we're gonna take those, put them to the side. Now, you want some water rolling through this, and you want, see how my color is coming out into the sink? It's literally washing out some of that black and it's turning like orange. You wanna keep rinsing until you see no more color coming out. And see how I'm just kind of turning it, opening it, closing it, and then squeezing it? When all that turns clear, then our shirt is done. Okay, so we're done rinsing our shirts. Let's see what we came out with. Our black one. Oh, that's pretty cool. It didn't give the whole spiral that I really thought it was going to, but it did give kind of a really cool design. I like that one. And our blue one. Let's check the blue one out. Oh, look at that. I like that. There you go. Two new designs to do with t-shirts. If you do this craft, take a picture, put it in our comment section. If you did our tie-dye one, Take a picture, put it in our comment section. And until next time, enjoy. Bye.